So I see a lot of people say I'm Clubhouse ranked in Rainbow Six, whether you're a copper, silver, gold, even even in like platinum, people don't know rotates and they don't know the correct bomb sites. So I'm gonna show you guys how to defend Clubhouse like a pro. That way you guys can start defending better and ultimately start winning more games. So top into a custom game and I'm gonna show you guys all of them. I'm not going to go through bar just because obviously you only need defense rounds, three defense rounds to win. And this is being recorded live on my stream. So be sure to go to twitch.tv slash Athena. If you are new to my channel and follow me on Instagram or Twitter. Stay updated. But to the order, you're going to hear a lot of people be like, oh, let's go downstairs first or even the most normal one. Let's go CC first. But I personally think you should be going gym first. So gym throws a lot of people off. They don't really know how to attack it because it's uh it's it's a little bit newer on the side it's been this has been more of a meta of where jim is a little bit better and jim is probably the best bomb site it's, it's contesting with with downstairs but you should try to you should get in the habit of voting jim first trust me you're gonna win it's like a free round people are lost of it and ranked i'll explain why you should be going cc all the time so don't be like auto auto picking cc like thatcher what operation you bring you should be bringing if you have mira bring her on the board uh but you gotta bring some with a shotgun you want to make rotates jaeger well my you're gonna want to want one of those because a lot of there's a lot of grenades and stuff you need to hold um but you're gonna we're gonna be extending into construction um on this one so and this is actually a map where you are a, a bomb site where you don't have to roam a lot you really don't have to roam a lot like i said bring someone with a shotgun um someone with a trap up or an ads catch but this is kind of a utility utility ish site so let's bring frost Frost is probably one of the best operators you can bring a gym as well. Uh, a shield, yes. Also, you want a shield. Show you why. So this is the correct way to make the rotate. I didn't mean to hit the window right there, but... The whole thing you can do with these windows is if you, uh, you can double tap them like that to hop out. I kind of messed up on this window. We won't do that one. But, I mean, these frost mounts aren't guaranteed, but they're more of just like a, hey, you know, if someone hops in, they gotta either shoot it and it's a distraction. It's good protection. Uh, so I always see people like they don't know where to put a shield. We put on top of the bed sometimes. The bed one is fine if you're trying to, you know, come from master window, but always put your shield right here and then combine it with the A grade or yes, something like that. This way, you can hold on to con. So let's get the reinforce. Uh, let's just get all the rotates done first, and then I'll show you guys all the reinforcements so you can get your route done. Now, people say like, oh, is rotate supposed to be on the left or the right side? I put it on the left side if you don't have a mirror. Also, you could put a frostbird here if you wanted to. Um, the reason I put it on the left side is that way you can roam lodgy as much as you can without getting shot from the con window. But if you have a mirror, reinforce the left wall and then make holes in the side. That way uh, they can't really see it from the hatch. So yeah, those are the holes you want. And then, yes, this is also here. This is the correct way to do the lodgy rotate. Do not put it on the right side. You want to put it close on this side that way you can't get shot from the master window rotating you get your safe behind the bed uh don't forget the foot holes are here uh be careful with this one do not make this a don't make this a running rotate because you know it, it just is more cover um make this a vaultable rotate as well like this and that's all you really need to do for holes uh also people are gonna ask like oh don't should you should you extend it into cash should you extend it to cash on a gem bomb site yes and no if you want to extend it into cash it does take up a lot of reinforcements to reinforce these two cash walls and possibly the red one um this wall is optional but it depends on the team attacks but you shouldn't i don't think you should fully give up cc if you don't have enough to fully hold it i would just shoot it for drones and high ranks you want to just roam here shoot their dr first line of drones and then just come back at least you do a little bit of damage where should all the reinforcements go i'm just gonna shoot them just that way i don't want to waste too much time one two three four five six seven so you have about three reinforcements left what you could do is just reinforce these two walls or use them the last two right there but otherwise you can have an extra reinforcement if you want oh also um these holes let's ask your team like oh do you want these holes but if you're solo queuing you don't have a lot of coordination just closes off sometimes these holes can get your, your uh team killed so how should you exactly how exactly should you play it one person you can sit behind this shield but you always want someone kind of playing inside construction you don't want to give this map which over free this one the reason why the shield there second one is playing inside logi i recommend the shotgun player playing inside logi trying to see for the hatch if you wanted to you can just play inside 
gem like this, you can rotate. You don't even have to stay stationary. You can literally just walk around. Careful for the windows, though. Uh, another spot you can play is whole bathroom the entire round. But yeah, like I said, like you can just run around. You can even sit in this corner if you want to. But don't just sit in a corner and be like, you know, don't don't be doing that. Like, you know, maybe you'll hold like a pixel or try to contest breach. But like, there's th there's gonna be things to do in the round that you can do. If you do want to roam, I would just make sure no one's trying to nade from below or doing that kind of spicy stuff. But like I said, this is a big bomb site. So you don't need to roam. Or you can just contest con from Lodgy like an alpha male. I mean, you're supposed to kind of do that. Yeah, you're supposed to do like like this. Like watch the walk-in, hold a crossfire with the doing the shield. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, smoke. Uh, mostly, he, most of the time, he's either behind the shield or he's playing inside bathroom. Yeah. If you're smoke, I, your best uh, position is to play inside bathroom because you can smoke anywhere in sight. You can test breach like this with a shotgun. You have more accessibility. Or you could put the shotgun inside Lodgy because shotguns in close quarter range obviously go boom, boom, boom. Why don't I just do one person holding both? Well, if you think about it, if someone's in the Lodgy hatch and then someone's in con, well, most of the time they're not always going to be the Lodgy hatch, but it's just a better position because they're two separate rooms, right? If you have four people up, it's, it's just a good way to space, pe uh, space people out. And so you have the crossfires as well. As well. Like, am I going to hold Khan and Lodgy with one person? It's just uh, not very logical. So that's how you play gym. All right, let's say you just won gym. You have two more rounds left and ranked. Should you go CC or should you go basement? Both are okay choices. However, you're going to win more if you go basement. Basement is a very defender sided uh, bomb site. Now, I think the biggest mistake people do is they'll pick like Vigil, Mozzy, Cav, Asian. They're bringing all these like weird ops to not even do anything on site. So if they don't contribute to what I'm about to say, then you're going to lose the round or you're going to have a harder time winning it. Who should you bring then if I can't bring those guys? Well, you can, you should have people who to roam a little bit depending on the bomb site. There's only two ways you play basement. The first way you play basement is have people have like two or three people roam and then two on site. The other way is you bunker, you hold dirt or blue, hold site. It's more passive, bunker. If you want to roam, pick cap, cap. Malusi, anybody with like high speed utility. If you want to stay on site, I recommend trying C4 Kitchen, like Mute, Oyo, Warden, if you wanted to. Wall Denial, Cade, you want to bring Cade as much as you can for the hatches. But yeah, rotates are probably just as important, if not more important than Jim. All right, so let's start with the blue rotate. Next up, go for the other blue rotate. Then you want to, uh, I'm just gonna make all the rotates first. And the next one, uh, make this a little bit wider, but make this like a vaultable. And then make a small rotate here so that way, in case you ever need to rotate from the hallway, like this. Um, make some small full holes right here. So, a strat you could try is holding dirt. Put your shields, let's say, like, go like halfway up, put it like right where the dirt starts to elevate right here make sure your shield covers that so like i don't know if this will work uh no don't do this shield because your head can get shot but it's a little bit further up yeah right here like right on this base so now the shield is a lot higher and my head's protected and i can jiggle peek and this is a, a good strat if you want to try it but uh yes always reinforce dirt people are not reinforcing dirt they're just not reinforcing at all in this bomb site do not reinforce the room wall if you ever do that reinforce this wall reinforce this middle wall that way you have some sort of cover. All the triple wall, unless you know have a certain operator, reinforce all three of the triple walls and all three of the hatches. It's two in dirt, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's all ten reinforcements. So do all those. Don't do it any different, or else you're probably gonna get yelled at by your teammates. But rotates, rotates, rotates are so important. You're wondering why you lose the round and you drop so many kills because you're getting these impactless frags that don't even matter because your site setup is so poor. So how should you play it? How should you play this? Some good ways to play it is uh, you can soft contest dirt. The only time you shouldn't hold dirt is, I mean, you can. You don't have to hold dirt. Dirt is just like it's just an extra spot to play. That way you don't have to always worry if someone's coming through there or not. Maverick's always going to open it. Um, some ends points you can try are K9 right here. This is called AK or K9. I don't recommend you anchor here because you're in a very like cornered spot. You're literally limited where you can see. But a second part is holding behind blue. This is a very, very strong position as a defender. You can just chill inside church. You can contest armory early round and then back up, back up to box three right here. This is 
Box one, box two, box three. Just chill behind here. Why is Arsenal not reinforced? Because there's no point in reinforcing Arsenal. There's just no point. Just, <laughs> you just need to don't reinforce it. But yeah, you can just play all those positions. The most that you should position yourself based on where the enemy is coming from, obviously. You know, understand like, okay, they're coming blue side. I'm going to sit in a spot where I can hide behind cover facing blue. Same thing with dirt. Same thing with hatch. Everything else. So barricading off dirt isn't necessarily bad. However, it's just like it works both sides because attackers can get really close up. They can take the ground free. The only thing is, you know, they make noise when they do it. But, you know, always watch for a drone at the bottom. But yeah, that's that's really all you really need to do to win this. So CC. I think you should go CC probably your last resort or if you're just straight up sucking on gym. And then CC's like, CC should be your last resort. You're going to want one ADS catch, like a Wamai or a Jaeger. Most likely going to be the one holding rafters. You want trap operators. Trap operators like Melosi, uh, Rooney, something like that. That way you just have resistance or even barbed wire. Not having resistance to your bomb site is going to make it really, really hard. Make someone get someone with rotates, a shotgun. The rotates are very, very important. And the last two can just be guns, gun ops, to be honest. Bring as much utility as you can to this bomb site. It'll make it a lot, a lot easier to defend. So after I set it up, then I'll show you why CC is so hard to defend, even in champion ranked, even in comp. Yeah, you can read CC like a book, no matter what. You can't do any. You can't do much. Uh, I kind of messed up these holes a little bit, but these are basically holes to see into breach. But yeah, those are the holes. And then no, a rotates. Just head holes. Just head holes. Just head holes because in case they take garage, you don't want them to give them an opening and force them with the window. And then obviously a default red. Um, those are all the holes. So what walls should you reinforce? Just count count with me. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you have one extra reinforcement. Where can you put it? You can just apply it to con single right here. Where should you put your shield? You should put your shield right here. This way you can see the breach. Why didn't I not? You know, it might look really, really cozy if I do it like this, right? This seems right. No. Put it right here. That way, Jaeger can put an ADS right here. And you have room. The reason I say trap operators is because... Holding garage is like losing a bomb site almost sometimes. You want to lose garage around maybe like a minute left into the 45 seconds left into the round. Put some sort of trap or indicator in case someone walks through this door. But I've been holding, I'm a master at holding rafters. I can hold it against like freaking really good teams. When you're holding rafters, you have to understand you have no reason to be peeking dumb stuff unless it's like an urgent must kill guy. Stay alive as long as you as long as you can. Shoot any drones coming up. Just basically just hold your ground here. Do whatever you can to hold your ground. Smoke it off if you need to, but you're probably not gonna be playing smoke play like Y or Jaeger. Put barbed wire, you know, like make make in every inch of the garage like hard to get. If you're gonna roam, you should be roaming. That way they can't be taking like lounge easily. Roam secret. Roam down here if you want to. Just like do whatever you can. There's another bomb site or another spiking place is top red. Another spiking place behind the cash box right here. Behind the shield. A lot of spaces. Now, ultimate question. Why is CC so bad? Attackers just know, man. Like, people just know how to attack this bomb site so easily. And it's so hard on defense. You have to, like, over adapt at times in order to do stuff. Because if they get this wall open, then boom. You immediately split the bomb site in half. Now, all you have to do is just take garage control or at least get, yeah, just take garage control by killing the guy up there. The thing is, nowadays, when the breach gets opened up, people just end up dying somehow. I don't know. People just end up peeking or they do stuff. They just get shot from the window. Boom. Man advantage lost. 3v5. Let's say for garage, people capital bolt you. They might grenade you. They might walk up your staircase because you think someone's covering you, but nope. Boom, garage control lost. They open up this wall. Boom, go for plant. Boom, plant down. Try to retake it. Boom, no, get shot. No, no. See, it's hard, hard. The only way you win on defense if you just like get like, like any other thing. You, like, you just kill them while they're setting up on you. But attackers don't have to like be very far apart on this bomb site. I don't like in low ranks, people don't really. I think this bomb site works in low ranks because people don't understand exactly what I just said. 
And when you get to high ranks, you understand CC is a terrible bomb site and you should go be going gym. But it's not impossible. It's not impossible to retake this bomb site. It's just very, very hard because they're fighting people outside, propels and windows and all that kind of stuff. You have to just make plays. Just make plays when you see them and it'll be fine. And ultimately, just play together if you're in a stack. Play together, create crossfires. Aruni is very, very good for this bomb site. Very good. Put on that window. You put one on the breach. You can put one on the garage door. Very, very good. BP, put it right here. Or BP, put it like right here. But that is my guide on how to defend Clubhouse like a pro. This is almost exactly how um, Clubhouse goes in FPL. FPL is basically a, a lobby full of competitive players at the highest level of Siege. All right, that is it for my CC guide. If you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe and let me know what map you guys want in the comments below. Or if uh, you have any adjustments to the what I just said in this video, I'll try to respond to you.